Today is the start of Amazon Prime Day, a 48-hour sales extravaganza. ABC's Andrew Dimebart has tips to spend smarter. Uh, I watch um, some headphones and a gift from my mother. Prime member Marvin Rosa's wallet is at the ready, but this Prime Day, it's all about separating the deals from the duds. We want to make sure that you buy things that will last. The New York Times sorted through and tested hundreds of items, Amazon's Echo Dot earning their recommendation. Because you can hook it up to Bluetooth to your phone, you can play music while you're getting ready, and it even has an alarm clock function. Amazon products are among the biggest deals, like the Amazon Fire 43-inch TV and Kindle tablet reader. But the best deals will likely have limited availability. I would suggest to go and lean on lightning deals, which will give you more of a chance to get the product that you want. So make sure you click on watch for lightning deals or get alerts through Amazon's shopping app to get notified the second the deal goes live. And this year, there are many deals that are invite only. So if one of those catches your eye, make sure you click on that request invite button. In the meantime, analysts say delay buying mattresses and large appliances. Labor Day will likely be a better time to buy those. But now is the time to buy strollers and grills. And while a deal might have a flashy sticker price, make sure you're using a price comparison tool like Google Shopping to make sure you're actually getting a deal. A lot of what we see is prices that are the same as you'll see throughout the year. Don't have a Prime membership? You can sign up for a 30-day free trial and then cancel before it ends or skip the Prime Day rush altogether. Many other retailers are battling for your money. Dell, Macy's, Target, Best Buy, Wayfair, Kohl's, Walmart, and Nordstrom are all running sales to compete with Prime Day.